How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another Madden NFL 24 franchise reeling challenge. We've got our next AFC team. Uh, first team to be eliminated from the divisional based on the seeding and that is going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars. So before we get into the gameplay, leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Comment down below this video to go to socials, play the second channel, me and channel down in the description if you'd like the content me TJP. So yeah, uh, Jacksonville we're going to be doing them five seasons, injuries on. Uh, we're going to try to win a Super Bowl if we can. Uh, not meant to be realistic, and if we mispronunciate names, we mispronunciate names. It's a video game at the end of the day. And with all that being said, you know, socials, playlists, secretary, main channel, all that stuff down below in the description, I think we're good to get on the gameplay. So let's do it and see what we can do with Jacksonville. All right, so let's take a look at the roster before we start simulating. So, we've got Trevor Lawrence, QB, uh, Travis Etienne Jr. as our running back, uh, wide receivers Ridley, Kirk, and Jones, the top three guys, we get Evan Ingram, tight end, Ken Robinson, left tackle, they start right now, so it's going to be uh, Anton Harrison, Ben Barch is going to be our left guard, uh, Tyler Shatley, center, right guard, Scherf, Walker Little, right tackle. Dwayne Smoot will be our left end, although he's starting now, so it's going to be Fatakasi. Uh, Roy Robertson Harris, right end. Uh, Devon Hamilton, defensive tackle, but he's hurt, so the better. We got Josh Allen, left outside linebacker. Foyceta Lokon, mid linebacker with uh, Devin Lloyd. Our outside linebacker will be Trayvon Walker. Tyson Campbell, corner with uh, Darius Williams and Trey Herndon. Uh, Andre Sisco, free safety, and then strong safety to be Rayshon Jenkins. Kicking is McManus, and punting is Cook. And you got your pick situation right there. So we got a couple extra fourth and sixth rounders uh, for this uh, upcoming season. So it should be pretty interesting. Uh, but let's take a look at the roster. In terms of the improved team functionality, so you can add a couple pieces right now to improve the team. Because you guys know I always like to sign a couple guys. Because why not? We can. Now, as you can see, left guard right now is obviously pretty thin, so defensive tackles and injuries. Uh, if we can get a better left guard, I wouldn't mind. I mean, Muti would be work, would be decent. I mean, he's a young guy, too, especially. So we could work with him. Or we could get Norrell. I might just get Norrell just for the season since he fits our scheme. So we'll go with that. And then we will also then try to get a better defensive tackle, just another defensive tackle. And I'm thinking a guy that would work might, well, I kind of would want to trade for one, I guess. Uh, but I guess we can get, like, Marlon Davidson for the season. I mean, he's a little bit better, a little bit younger. So, you know, who knows? Maybe he'll uh, develop into a decent role. So we'll just have him on the squad. And I think that's about it for moves. Unless there's any trades that we potentially would want to make. We can try to get, like, a Robert Quinn, but I don't think I need him right tackle. Collins is out there. Centers. Uh, ben Jones, potentially. But for the most part, we're good. I think we're just going to keep the squad as is. And we'll look to make a move at the midseason point. If necessary, we try to get extra picks. Not sure how our contracts are going to be looking like for free agency, but we should be okay. I definitely think there's uh, some potential with the squad to uh, try to improve ourselves going forward. So I'll see you guys in midseason, and we'll see how we're doing. All right, so we're sitting at 4-3 and three right now. Uh, pretty difficult AFC South. You see everybody has above a 500 record, but uh, you look at our rankings. They don't look too bad on paper, but let's see the stats. And see if that uh, backs up our claim. I mean, Trevor Lawrence having a solid season, nearly 1,500 yards. 14 TDs, not a single interception, 117.6 pass rating, 60% complete percentage. So you'd love to see that from him. Um, Etienne Jr., 505, 2 TDs. Lawrence has 159, 1 TD. Ridley, 399, 5 TDs. In terms of receiving, Zay Jones, 384, 336, and 2 from Ingram, 211, and 2 from Kirk. Blocking wise, overall has been excellent. Uh, Devin Lloyd leading the team in tackles, Lucon with uh, 40, second, third is Campbell with 34, then we got 30 from Allen, 27 from Jenkins, 26 between Williams and Herndon, 24 from Walker, 23 from Fadukasi, 22 from Cisco, 20 from Robertson Harris, uh, sack wise, just not as many, but I mean, it's okay, I mean, three from Fadukasi, two from Allen and Robertson Harris, these guys are with one, these guys with half. Interception-wise, three from Jenkins, two from Campbell, one from Lloyd and Williams. Kicking-wise, McMahon is six of nine on the field goals, so he's missed three field goals, and he's made all the extra points. Cook punting, and you got your kick return, Zay Jones, touchdown, Jamal Agnew, punt return. So overall, not too bad on the season so far. I mean, with top ten in terms of total yards gained on the offensive side of the ball, you could say passing is near 
uh, you know, the top half, more or less. And then rush-wise, we're at 782. That's also pretty good, too. And we're scoring 23.9 points per game, which is also going to be closer to the top half of the league. Defensively, could use a tad bit of work. Just a tad bit of work. Um, we are the bottom half of the league now. We're allowing 132 points, which isn't too bad. But our yardage, you know, could be better. We're defending okay against rush, I would say. It's probably about average, slightly below average. And then our passing yards could be better but overall not doing awful uh this season i mean if there's a move we can make now to try to get ourselves to compete this year i'm, I'm down to do it so i'm gonna look around at the trade market and see if there's anybody out there out there all right i traded two first round picks to the falcons to get grady jarrett he's gonna help out our defense a lot uh so we got him on the team probably gonna have traded maybe uh for another player um i probably should have done that i probably should have got more players maybe some extra picks there but we do improve our defense with that move, which I think is super good. Um, and I like it. Yeah, so he's under contract for a few more seasons, so he should be okay. Should be good. I uh, want to see if we have any injuries. So we do take a look at the injury report. Yeah, a lot of our guys are hurt right now. Um, or There's a lot of guys that you know are injured. Some of these guys are now uninjured, but yeah. Achilles tear for Ventrell Miller. That stinks. It's 40 weeks. This dude is... Unfortunate. Complete MCL tear from Jalen Moore. Tough to see. You hate to see it. Um, okay. Well, we're going to continue to simulate. We'll see if we can make the wild card. It's going to be a bit of a tough division. You know, AFC South, but let's see what ends up happening. All right. We went 9-8. and eight. Not quite good enough, though, to make the playoffs this season, unfortunately, as we do miss out. Uh, but let's take a look here at the season we had. So, I mean, overall, Trevor Lawrence, not too bad. Didn't have the greatest second half of the season, you can see. Uh, 10 TDs, 8 interceptions the rest of the way. But, I mean, still an, uh, you know, a decent year from him. Uh, Etienne Jr., 1,270 yards, 10 TDs, 334 and 3 from Lawrence, 230 and 5 for Dernish Johnson. Uh, Ridley, 1,015 yards, 9 TDs to lead the way in receiving. Zay Jones, 6, 762 and 5 TDs, 700 and 5 from Kirk, uh, 631 and 3 from Ingram. Blocking-wise overall was really good. Devin Lloyd leading team in tackles, 121. Then Luakon with 113, 75 from Williams, 73 from Campbell, 72 from Jenkins, 66 from Herndon, 64 from Allen, 63 from Walker, 60 from Cisco. In terms of sacks, Jarrett, 9.5, 6.5 from Allen. Fodakasi with 5, 3 from Walker, 2 from uh, Robertson, Harris. And you can see there a bunch of other guys with the sack, half sack, etc. Four interception from Jenkins. Two from Campbell and Williams, and then these guys all had one. Kicking-wise, McManus missed five field goals. Punting, each kick return. Zay Jones, two two TDs. Nice. And then punt return as well. So, yeah, we ended up 18th offensive yards. So a bit of a dip in the offense. And, uh, yeah, I mean, pass yards closer to the uh, middle of the pack. Rush yards, 19.58. That's going to be closer to the top. And then we scored 22.4 points per game, which is also slightly below average. Now, defensively, we did improve a little bit, which is good to see. 328 yard uh, points allowed, which is pretty good. Our rush yards, uh, we defended, you know, could have defended better against rush. And we definitely defended better against passing. So we'll see what ends up happening. In the off season here, uh, we'll look at who won the Super Bowl, and then we'll get to get on to making some moves to try to make this team better. We do have our first round pick this year, which is good. But next two seasons, we traded those away. But we'll see what we need to do. We're gonna have a lot of money, I believe, as well. We got a lot of guys to try to resign. As for the Super Bowl recap, we have the Niners beating the Chargers. Christian McCaffrey, Super Bowl MVP. Mahomes, Sirianni, Jacobs, and Donald. Then we got Robinson from the Falcons, Carter from the Eagles, getting your rookies of the year, respectively. So that all being said, let's go on to the offseason. All right, well, we actually don't have as much money as I thought we did. It's only $27 million more or less. But, you know, Trevor Lawrence is a fifth-year option, so we're going to obviously accept that. Same thing with the team junior. We're going to accept his option. Josh Allen, we need to re-sign. Ridley, we'd like to re-sign. Uh, those are probably the main two guys that we want to get back. There's a bunch of other guys down here. So we'll see what we end up keeping. I mean, with $27 million, it's not too much money to play around with, but we're going to try to see if we can keep... You know, Allen and Ridley and things of that nature go on from there.
All right, so I was able to re-sign uh, the two guys I wanted to re-sign. Now, Noro's going to have to walk. A lot of these guys are going to end up walking. So we're going to have to just try to draft some replacements in return. Not too big of a deal. So we're going to head on to the draft. We have our picks and a couple extra picks this season. So let's see what we could do in the draft. Since I don't have much money, so free agency is really not an option this year. I mean, theoretically, we could do some contract restructuring. Um, I don't know how good the class is going to be. I mean, we can take a look. If it's good, maybe I'll uh, restructure some contracts. Um, but, eh, it's really not that great. So, yeah, I think we'll just uh, wait till maybe next season if it's better. Or just, yeah, we'll, we'll just do things through the draft. We have our first round pick. I'm going to show you guys who we take here. So, a couple positions of need. We definitely need some corners. Uh, we also need a left end. We don't have that, or a left guard. So if there's any left ends here, I mean, Brian Miranda would probably be the guy that we want to go with because we have absolutely nobody. So we're going to take Brian Miranda out of Texas to be our left end. So I'm going to do the rest of the draft picks off camera, and we'll show you guys the draft recap once we are finished. Draft recap, um, you saw the pick obviously we made there with Miranda. We got Malone and Williams to a few corners here. Another strong safety in Folger. Fulcher, we got Williams mid-linebacker, a couple mid-linebackers, another wide receiver, and then a backup QB, Matthew Cummins out of Wyoming. So we're going on to the second season here. We'll see how we uh, could fare. Uh, I probably want to get a better left guard, so maybe we'll make a trade in the beginning of the season. We'll see if we have enough room, that is. So to start the second season, let me show you guys the roster that we have right now. So QB, obviously, Trevor Lawrence is here at Team Junior, running back, or halfback. Wide receiver, still got Kirk, Ridley, and Zay Jones. So Kirk hopping up to an 86. Uh, in terms of tight ends, Evan Ingram's still here. Left tackles be Cam Robinson. Hodges, left guard. Uh, we've got center is Luke Fortner. Right guard will be Brandon Scherf. Right tackle is Walker Little. Brian Rand, left end. Right end's going to be Grady Garrett. Uh, Devon Hamilton, defensive tackle. Josh Allen, left outside linebacker. Mid linebacker. We set it Luke on, as well as Lloyd. Right outside linebacker, Trayvon Walker. Corners, Campbell, Buckhalter, and Malone are the top guys. Uh, and then we've got free safety, Cisco. Strong safety, Wingard. And then kicking, we don't have a kicker. And then Logan Cook is punting. So we do need to get a kicker. And we need, we need to get a couple guys. I feel like we need a left guard as well. But uh, if I go to the improved team, definitely want to sign a kicker. So whoever's out there, we're just going to take. Unless we can't take anybody. I mean, McLaughlin would be fine. Uh, we could get him. And I think I might just sign a left guard in free agency if we can get one. So any left guards out there would be wonderful. Uh, there's really nobody good. What if I trade for, like, a Royce Newman? What could that... What could that look like? Let's see if I can maybe potentially get him. Hold on a second. All right, I traded away a future third round pick in 2027 to the Packers. We got Newman. Uh, not a great left guard, but it'll work. Fits the scheme of our team. We also got a sixth and a seventh round pick for 2025. So that uh, will help us out a little bit. Get some more depth on the team when we need it. So that's going to be about it. I think we're just going to keep the team as is. We'll send it to the midseason and see if we can get ourselves into uh, playoff contention. All right, we're kind of at 4-3 and three again, uh, which isn't bad. Uh, I mean, we're the number one offensive rank in terms of yardage and then defensive rate 18th. I mean, overall, we've been pretty solid. Uh, if we take a look at the stats here, and Trevor Lawrence, once again, having a great first half of the season, 1,740 yards, 13 TDs, 4 interceptions, 71% completion percentage, 109.2 passer rating. Hope we can keep that up. It's Ian Jr., 44 and 3 TDs, 144 and 1 from Lawrence, and Bigsby, 110 and 1 TD from him. Christian Kirk, 589 and 6 to lead our team in receiving. Evan Ingram is 436 and 1, 297 2 from Ridley. And Zay Jones, 290 and 3. Our blocking has been pretty solid. Our defense, wing guards get the most tackles with 41, 39 from our mid linebackers right here. Cisco with 34, 31 from Allen. 30 from Buck Halter. 29 from Williams. 26 from Campbell. Jarrett's got 22, 21 from Hamilton. And 19 from Walker, as you can see. Six and a half sacks so far from Josh Allen's pretty good. Four from Grady Jarrett. Two from Lloyd and these guys down here. Half sacks, etc. Just two interceptions, Wingard and Campbell. Uh, McLaughlin missed an extra point, missed two field goals so far. And then you got punting, kick return, and punt return. 
So yeah, number one in offensive yards, and I would say passing has a big factor in that. And at seventeen fifty five, we're second highest, only behind the Bengals. And then our rush is also relatively high enough at seven ninety nine, putting us at twenty four point four points per game scoring wise, which is pretty good. The offense is looking good now. Defensively, slightly different story. Could be a little bit better there. We're allowed one hundred sixty seven points, a little too high for my liking. 630 on the rush, though. So not letting teams really run against us. We do have 18 sacks, which I feel like is close to the top half of the league. 1532 on the passing. We only have two interceptions. We have 18 sacks. That is tied for third most. I mean, overall, I think our team is looking pretty solid. I don't know if there's any moves that we want to make right this moment. Uh, I mean, we can look to see if there's any trades out there that we could potentially try to mess around with. I'm going to take a look at my team scheme. Just want to double check to make sure that we're running an okay scheme here. Uh, we could go with the West Coast zone run. That might be the uh, way to go. Or we go spread. Um, I think I'll go West Coast zone run, though. And then uh, defensively, we could hop in and do a 3-4 uh, do a three, four under. We'll keep the playbook as is. You know, we are the Jacksonville Jaguars, after all. So, uh, But anyways, let's just uh, see how we do the rest of the way. Try to get to the playoffs and go on from there i think if we can't make it this year we'll try to make some more drastic moves in the offseason this upcoming year but i think we should be able to make it so hopefully it's close i will say it's a pretty tightly packed division again i was about to say that we missed out on the playoffs but then i came back because i saw this screen and sometimes when i see this screen i always just assume we missed but no uh, we went 13 and 4 the rest of the way 9 and 1 the rest of the way and we ended up getting the bye so we're gonna be in the divisional automatically which is pretty insane um, uh, just from changing our playbook around a little bit, I mean, I'll take it. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be too upset about that. Uh, but let's look at the stats to see what we got going on, man. Trevor Lawrence is a friggin' good quarterback. He's really good in the sim, man. I tried to get him. 4,052 yards, 34 TD, 7 interceptions, 73% completion percentage, 114.9 passer rating, which is pretty good. Rush-wise, 13.33 from 18 junior with 11 TDs. Bigsby with 3, 73 and 5 of his own. Overall, pretty good. Receiving-wise, Christian Kirk, 284 yards, 12 TDs. He was really good. Evan Ingram, 902 and 5 TDs, 798 and 5 from Ridley, 713 and 6 from Jones. Our blocking was pretty good for the most part. Uh, Olukon with 102 tackles, lead the team, 97 from Lloyd, 79 from Wingard. Josh Allen, four, 74 sacks, 14 and a half, uh, 74 tackles, 14 and a half sacks, pretty good. You can see there, 66 from Buck Halter. And Williams and 64 from Jared, who also had 11 sacks of his own. So not too bad on the defensive side of the ball. You can see the sacks, like I had alluded to, 25 and a half sacks between our top two guys. Throw in Trayvon Walker, and he's got seven and a half of his own. So not too bad there. And then interception wise, six from Tyson Campbell, and then one from Wingard. So only seven interceptions, but six of them coming from Campbell. Fantastic. Definitely our best corner. And you're kicking, you're punting, your kick return, and punt return. So, second in terms of offensive yards on the season, which is pretty good. Our passing is going to be near the top, and then our rush is also going to be near the top. And then we're scoring 25.9 points per game, which is uh, near the top. The best team in the NFL, by the way. I saw that. Right? League standing number one. Our defense also was really ended up being really good. 366 points allowed, which isn't too bad. Uh 1,609 yards on the rush is a solid, and then 3, 5, 6, 7 on the passing is okay as well. Yeah, not too bad of a season. Uh, we're going to see what we're taking on the divisional. That's good that we got the bye. And, yeah, let's go on to the divisional championships. See who we're taking on. The Dolphins, the Miami Dolphins is who we're taking on. 11, 6, for 34. Battle of Florida here. Or at least, yeah, I guess, yeah, Battle of Florida, right? Miami and Jacksonville. So you see our rankings compared to theirs. Seems like we have the edge, but you never know until we go to the Super Sim. So we're going to hop on in and see how we fare against the Miami Dolphins. I'll see you guys when I'm there. Okay, here we are. We're about to enter the Super Sim. Uh, we are at Everbank Stadium in Jacksonville. And we are going to the Super Sim here to see if we can beat the Dolphins and go on to the conference championship game. They're going to start off with a 7-0 lead in the first quarter. They're actually taking a 14-0 lead now. We do get a field goal, but they're going to go up 21-3 going to the second half. They are up 24-3. to We get a field goal, but that's not going to be good enough, man. We are going to lose this game. 31-13, 31-16, to 
34 to 16, and yeah, just not a very good performance from us as we lose to the Dolphins. 34 to 16, yeah, definitely not a good performance. And there goes the uh, clipboard on the ground, very upsetting indeed. Uh, you know, you get the you get the you had the best record in the league, and then you lose like that. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but we were doing from the start there, as you can see, didn't do too great. Trevor Lawrence was okay, but you know, Tua outplayed him. Uh, Minty and Jr. The yards per carry on that eh, it could be better. Christian Kirk only had one reception for five yards. Yeah, Howler, Howler indeed. I guess late Ramsey was locking him up. All right, let's go on to the. Uh, Super Bowl recaps, he ends up winning, and uh, try to see if we have some improvements to this team going forward. Oh, who won the Super Bowl? It was the Chiefs beating the Eagles 34-20, uh, 30-24, Isaiah Pacheco, Super Bowl MVP, we got Herbert, Peterson, Jacobs, and Donald, and four down to the Buccaneers, Bears, Deshaun Love, getting your rookies there, respectively. Let's go on to the third season. First, uh, before we even get to that, we're going to go on to the second offseason. Definitely some moves to make to try to improve this team for sure. So we have nearly $46 million, just a little shy of it. And, uh, you know, Campbell, we got to re-sign. Definitely want to re-sign him. Uh, Walker has an option. We're going to accept that. I'm th pretty sure uh, Lloyd has an option, so we're going to accept that too. Cisco, I'd like to keep him around. Uh, Lucon, Jones, Sheriff, Robinson would like to keep. Newman, potentially. And there's a few guys down here. McLaughlin wouldn't mind keeping him, so... A lot, uh, lot of guys to try to re-sign. Obviously, Campbell being our number one option, so we're going to try to see if we can get him back and the rest of the guys, too. If we have to do some contract restructions, we'll do it, but I'm hoping that we don't have to. Well, guys, I do want to try to re-sign here as well, uh, but we don't really have money to do so, which means I'm going to have to uh, do a couple contract restructurings. I mean, I'm going to try to keep Robinson around. Uh so I'm going to take a look at the team salaries. And for those that don't know, that's where you go to restructure contracts. And we're just going to see who's making the most money. I mean, Campbell, we just re-signed. We could theoretically restructure him. Allen, we could restructure as well. Um, if we really wanted to. And it's not going to free up too much money because, you know. Trevor Lawrence, obviously, that's another guy we got to re-sign as well at some point. Uh, but we, could, we can restructure uh, Campbell. Give us a little bit more money, and then Josh Allen. That should give us a, ta a tad bit more cash. You can even throw in Ridley in there, too. Those are only three guys I think I'm going to restructure. So I think now that gives us enough money to maybe like re-sign Robinson if we need to find a replacement tackle in free agency. On the cheap, we can do that. Uh, but, yeah, $15 million. Uh, So, yeah, we'll throw him this kind of offer. See if he wants to take it. He does. And then, yeah, we have like, a little bit of money to play around. I mean, we could try to re-sign, like, Newman. If I can't get Newman, I could try to get like Little. But I think, I think we just try to find uh, make, maybe make some small moves in free agency uh, and try to improve the team. And then just like whoever we can get in the draft, we could do that too. So let's do that. I'll show you guys free agency recap. It's good. Again, it's gonna be minor minor signings. All right, I'm gonna show you guys free agency recap. Wasn't much. Very small moves. Um, but we did get uh, White Hair. We got Badgley kicking, and then we got Pert. Uh, Matt Peart, uh, Matt Part. It could be Part or Peart. Uh, we got him to our right tackle. So, yeah. Uh, left guard Cody Whitehair fits the scheme of the team. Again, just kind of bolster up the line. They're trying to, you know, find some pieces. I mean, obviously go to the draft and see if there's anybody out there we could take. I mean, definitely need a couple, couple, you know, need to bolster up that line a bit. So I think I'm going to go to the draft. I'll show you guys the recap and then, um, on from there. All right, so let me show you guys the draft recap here. Um, unfortunately, there's just really not a lot of like good line players, but uh, we did get another left guard, a couple tackles, uh, got another running back. Our, our top pick was our second round pick, which got Brian Burge in the corner. Uh, so nothing too crazy in the draft. Uh, I feel like our team, you know, pretty young guys. I mean, as long as those guys get better, we should be okay. So we'll see what happens at the start of the third season. Look at the roster and any small improvements we can make. We'll look to do those. We'll go on from there. All right, so let's take a look at the start of the third season here with Jacksonville. So as you can see, uh, corners, corner quarterbacks would be uh, Trevor Lawrence. We have Cummins as well backing him up. Etienne Jr., uh, our halfback with Bigsby. Uh, in terms of uh, wide receivers, Kirk's still here. 
with Ridley and Jones. And then we've got tight end Evan Ingram. Left tackle still Cam Robinson. Left guard to be Cody Whitehair. Centers Luke Fortner. Brand Scherf could be our right guard. Right tackle Matt. Uh, Miranda's going to be a left end. Right end's Grady Jarrett still. Devon Hamilton, defensive tackle. Josh Allen, left outside linebacker. Mid linebackers, we have a plethora of those. But uh, Oluwakon and Lloyd are your top two there. Right outside linebackers, we Walker. Campbell, superstar cornerback with Buck Walter and Williams. Um, and then we've got Cisco, free safety, strong safety, wing guard. And then uh, Michael Badgley, we our kicker with punting Logan Cook. And again, we don't have our first round picks. We traded that away in the Grady Jarrett trade. But once after that, we have all our picks. So, All right. Let's go to the improved team functionality. Obviously, there are some moves we can make. Now, I don't know what our situation holds in terms of cap room, but maybe we could pick up like uh, you know, a couple guys for the line. I, I want to see if there's maybe the better... Better center, or maybe like a right tackle out there. I mean, get like Fawn, I get Wiley. Uh, Fawn wouldn't be terrible, he wouldn't be too bad to have. I mean, our left tackle is Cam Robinson. We have a, we have a decent amount of left tackles, so uh, I'm gonna see if there's a trade we can make then for a center because I think we might have enough room to make a small move to bolster up our line so i'm not too worried about that we got eight million uh, if i take a look here i mean center left guard uh let's see left guard we've got white hair which is fine it's just a bit up there in age i mean fortner's our center which uh you know could be better could be worse i mean right tackle could be better let's see if i can get maybe yeah let's see if i can get like a, a trade to bolster up the line a little bit traded Second, third, fourth round pick this year. We got back Tittman and Tomlinson. So, uh, and a seventh round pick from the Jets. So, just a small move to improve the line a little bit. Uh, plus, Tittman's a pretty young guy. So, um, he'll fit the rest of the video. I think he's only 24. So, that's... He'll, he'll definitely get better as time goes on. Now, I'm just going to double check the uh, schemes here. See if there's anything we want to change. Uh, we're still running that West Coast zone run. The 80% fit. Is there anything that's better than that? Otherwise, we kind of just keep it that way. Yeah, we'll keep it that way. And then 3-4 under, 81. Uh, that seems to be the best one. So we'll go 3-4 under. Overall, not too bad. Let's, uh, I guess, simulate to the midseason point. We'll see how the team's doing and then go on from there. Season point, 4-2. and two. Uh, You can see the rankings. I mean, offensive ranks taking a bit of a dip. Defensively, though, we're looking really good this year. Uh, we lost 10-7 against the Bills. Otherwise, we've been 5-1. and one. But that's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, I mean, not doing too crazy. 38-9 TDs, 2 interceptions, 69% completion percentage on 12.5 pass rate. I mean, that's really good. Uh, Etienne Jr., 353, 4 TDs, 20, 124, and 1 from Bigsby. So it's not too bad there on the rush. Receiving-wise, Kirk, 361, 3 TDs, 320, and 1 from Ingram. 290 and 2 from Zay Jones. Ridley's got 179, 1 TD. Uh, Blocking-wise has been superb. 7 sacks allowed. Devin Lloyd leading the team in tackles with 49. 34 from Wingard. 32 from Walker. 31 from Allen. 27 from Foisada Oluokon. 25 apiece between Cisco and Buckhalter. Campbell, 19, 18 from Bolden. 15 apiece between Hamilton and Garrett. Or Jarrett. So that's not too bad there. Sack wise, Allen, 5.5. 4 from Walker. The rest of the boys down here. And not a single interception. That's a little bit concerning, but you know, Badgie's been good. So I missed one extra point. Cook's punting, and you kick return Malone, punt return to Vars Woodbury. So yeah, we're 22nd in offensive yards, which isn't that great. So we're really not getting too hot uh, up and down the football field, not really scoring. Our passing yards is definitely lower than, you know, normal. And our rush is at 699, 699 which is actually pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, 20 and a half points is like about a close to average. Uh, but defensively been really good. Uh, 86 points allowed, least amount in the league. 760 on the rush yards allowed. That's a little high. But our pass yards allowed is uh, second lowest. So that's good to see. I mean, overall, we're doing pretty good. Uh, there's definitely a couple moves that we could theoretically make. Um, but for now, we're just going to rock out with the squad. I mean, if there is a trade out there, I'd love to do it. How much, I don't know how much money we have. We're at $7.84 million. We, we could try to bolster up the line a little bit more. 
Uh, let, let, let's see what's out there in the market. I mean, we have a little bit of we have a little bit to play around with. So let, 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 let's see what kind of trades we got. All right, I traded for Paris Johnson Jr. Uh, Pierre and two second round picks. So we get uh, Johnson Jr. fits the scheme of the team from the Cardinals right tackle. Uh, so I like that move there from us. I feel like it's a pretty solid uh, acquisition. Should bolster up the line a little bit more. With 12 guys up for negotiation. Here's see what that's looking like. Obviously, Trevor Lawrence, if I could try to keep him now, that'd be great. Kirk wants to walk. Also, need to keep it. We're going to have a lot of money, but I do want to try to keep some of these guys before they even hit free agency. So, looks like Trevor Lawrence, we can get him to easily sign, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, let's try to get the rest of the guys back on the squad as well. Hopefully, he accepts this. And he does. I lowered it a little bit. Um, Kirk. And yeah, Tien looks like he would probably want to re-sign as well. We'll throw him a contract. I'm on the fence, but we're real close to something here. All right. We'll, we'll try to get him back. Not a big deal. I think we can get him back in the offseason. All right. I'll see you guys uh, at the end of the season. Hopefully, we're in the playoffs. We are in the playoffs. Taking on the Bengals in the wild card. We are the home team there. You can see our rankings definitely improved uh, throughout the season. Now, let's take a look at the stats here and see what we got going on. So, Trevor Lawrence had a nice year. 3,936 yards, 32 tees, 12 interceptions, 69% complete percentage. Nice. And a 105.9 passer rating. It's acceptable, indeed. 928 and 8 TDs from Etienne Jr. He also only played 11 games, which makes that even more impressive. Bigsby, 14 games from him, so he missed some time, too. 552 and 4 TDs. Uh, Christian Kirk... 995 and 12 TDs to lead the way. Ridley missed the game, 867, 3 TDs, 836, and 7 from Ingram, who also missed the game. So there a couple guys in and out of the lineup throughout the season as well. But we still did good. Overall, blocking was okay. Robinson with 8 sacks allowed. Lloyd, 112 tackles, 88 from Oluokun, 78 from Wingard and Walker, 74 from Cisco, 73 from Allen, 72 from Buckhalter, 61 apiece between Campbell and Bolden. In terms of uh, sacks, 11 from Allen, 6 from Walker, 3 from Lloyd and Jarrett, 2.5 from Hamilton, 2 from these guys, and goes down from there. Interception-wise, we had 9 as a team, as you could see, Lloyd and Campbell, then these guys with 1. Didn't mean to do that. Let me go back here. I mean, we'll just go like this. Punt return, you know. Kick return, you know. Punting. Kicking. And I think that was it. Yeah, okay. So all the, I think you saw all the rest of the defense, right? Yeah, oh, we, did we see interceptions? Yeah, we saw interceptions. Okay, yeah, so we're good. All right, third in offensive yards gained overall. Pretty solid. 3,957 pass yards. That's going to be close to the top of the league. Our uh, rush was pretty good, too. And 23.5 points per game. It's pretty solid as well. Defensively, also good. 353 points allowed. Uh, I feel like our defense took a tad bit of a hit, but not even that much, honestly. 754 rush yards allowed, pretty good. Again, all top half of the league, and same thing with passing. All right, well, we got the Bengals. Let's see if we can beat them, get to the divisional again. We'll see how we can fare against them. Obviously, they have a good team. They have Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow does Joe Burrow things, but we have a chance to beat them, so we'll head on to the Super Sim and see how we fare against them. Right, we are home at the very least which is cool but not that that matters too much since last time we were home we didn't win so we're gonna hop on into the super sim jump to the end of the game we are gonna start off with first blood 7-0 and uh, we do stop cincinnati there but then they score we score though they're gonna tie it up going in the second half it's they take the lead we tie it though third quarter we're gonna take the lead 28 21 they're gonna get a field goal we're gonna get a touchdown 35 24 38 to 24 we're gonna end up winning this football game and go on to the divisional 38 to 24 is the final as the Bengals take the loss and we get the win trevor lawrence excellent game 356 two tds out dueling joe burrow and you can see there calvin really had a solid game as well so shout out to the guys getting the job done back on the divisional let's see if we can advance this time around the division we're taking on miami again this time they are the home team 11 and 6 we were 10 and 7 there's tyreek hill you know about tyreek i don't gotta tell you about him you see that rankings compared to ours pretty solid we'll see what ends up happening here in the super sim in the divisional can we beat miami this time around and go on to the fc conference championship game but we're gonna find out so let's hop on to the super sim and see what we can do we're gonna be at hard rock today 
and we are playing against the Dolphins. So let's see what happens in today's game. Starting off Super Sim, uh, first quarter, we are going to give up a field goal. We're going to get a touchdown. There's 7-3 going to the second quarter. It's 10-3 now. They're going to tie it up, though. We're going to take the lead going to the second half, 17-10. They're going to tie it up, though, 17-17. We're going to take the lead, though, 24-17, fourth quarter. They're going to get a field goal. We're going to get a field goal. And we are going to win the game 27 to 20 to advance to the conference championship game in our third season, out dueling the Dolphins in our Battle of Florida. Trevor Lawrence, 277 and two TDs this time around. Etienne had a big good game. Christian Kirk, much better. Calvin Ridley was solid. Let's go on to the super sim of the championship conference game. Before we do that, though, we're going to take a look at who we're taking on. All right, we got the boys in Buffalo, nine and eight. We are the home team, though. Ten and seven, Everbank Stadium. If we can win, we can go to the Super Bowl here in our third season. Uh, Panthers and Cowboys out in the NFC Conference Championship game should be interesting. Let's see if we hop on to the Super Sim. You can see Buffalo's rankings. The number one ranked defense, nineteenth offense, though. I mean, we're pretty solid on both fronts. Let's see what ends up happening here in the Super Sim. I'll see you guys once I'm there. The Super Sim in the AFC Conference Championship game. Let's see what happens here. We're going to the end of the game. Trying to get to the Super Bowl here. We are going to get the first score there, 3-0. Going to the second quarter. Buffalo is going to take a 3-3 lead or tie. 10-3 now because we took the lead. We're going to not score there. Fourth quarter. It is tight, and we do get a field goal, which we needed. And we are going to the Super Bowl. Absolutely shutting down Buffalo's offense. 13-3. They couldn't figure out our defense. And I, we are going to the Super Bowl. 13-3 victory in the AFC Conference Championship game. Let's friggin' go. I mean, Trevor Lawrence was solid. 90.4% percent completion percentage, 217, 1 TD. Josh Allen. They just couldn't figure us out, man. I mean, they played okay defensively, I guess. Only 13 points allowed, but, you know... Trevor Lawrence was just making passes like crazy. So good stuff there. On to the Super Bowl. Who are we going to be taking on here? Let's find out. All right, it's Dallas, of course. 9-8 and eight Dallas versus 10-7 us. Super Bowl in Atlanta. You can see their rankings aren't too great, but you never know with this team. So we're going to hop on to the Super Sim. For those that don't know how the Super Sim works in the Super Bowl, I will tell you right now. We do quarter by quarter, and if the game is close or... It's a blowout in our favor. We're about to win the Super Bowl. We hop on in and watch the celebration. It's pretty simple. Let's get on into it. In Atlanta for the Super Bowl here, we're hopping on to the Super Sim. We're going to go quarter by quarter against Dallas. Let's see what ends up happening here. First blood, we are going to get it 7-0. And uh, it looks like they're going to tie it up here, though, in the second quarter. Uh, but let's see. And we get a stop here. That'd be great. And we don't. So 7-7 now. They're going to score again. Make it 14-7. But we are going to tie it up. Going into the second half, it is 14 to 14 right now. So that's pretty insane. Third quarter now, what's going to happen here? Dallas is going to score, and we are going to tie up the game 21 to 21. So it's going to be a close one, it looks like. So we're going to jump forward to the next quarter here. Dallas scores. And are we going to score? We don't score. So we're just going to hop on a normal. First and 10, second and 10 now. 506. Uh, third and six now. 442 to go. If it gets close here, first it's at 415. And we will hop on in. 355. We'll have to watch ourselves play defense, it looks like. First and 10 there. 12 yard reception to Zay Jones. First and 10. 12 yard rush for Trevor Lawrence. 258 to go. We're going to have plenty of time here. Eight yard receptions. Uh, three yard rush there. Tanks Bigsby. Uh, for 11 yard reception for Ridley. Minute 44 to go. 11-yard reception there from Ridley. Four-yard rush. Let's hop on in here. Second and six. 55 seconds to go. We're trying to tie the game up here. Lawrence, what's he going to do? We are going to get taken down. Third and five with 48 seconds to go. We have all of our timeouts. 36, 35 seconds to go. We got to be able to score here. The game's on the line. Lawrence gives the ball up. And we cannot get a... First down there, four to two. We're going no huddle. We gotta, we gotta do something here. Lawrence looking, passes incomplete. He was wide open and he didn't even catch it. 
That's game. He was I he looked like he was open. And there it is. That that's the Super Bowl right there, ladies and gentlemen. We lose like that. We lose like that. And yep. Just pile it on. Unless we get a sack somehow. But they're just gonna do that. And yep, that is gonna be the game, ladies and gentlemen. 28 to 21 in the Super Bowl. Dallas beat us. And that is all she wrote. Not the greatest, uh, not the greatest, uh, last few down there. Dallas locked it up. Dallas locked it up. Couldn't get that. We needed that first down. We really needed that first down, but unfortunately didn't get it. Is Dallas going to end up winning the Super Bowl here, 20 to 21. It was a good season. And Lawrence didn't do too great. I mean, Dak Prescott definitely played better. Couldn't get a touchdown. Ridley, two receptions, 24 yards, four receiving receptions for Christian Kirk, 30 yards. TN, 18 yards, uh, carry, 74 yards. So, yep, unfortunately took the L. Let's see who the Super Bowl MVP was. Dak Prescott, obviously, that makes a lot of sense. We had uh, Lamar Jackson, Zach Taylor, Lamar Jackson, Parsons, Nathan Watkins from the Vikings, Shard Lou Leonard from the Broncos. So we have two more seasons. I mean, we try to get back here. I mean, it was a good season this year. A little bit annoying the way we lost that one, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's always annoying to lose. You never like to see that. I guess that being said, though, let's uh, head on to the offseason. We've got two more seasons. Let's see if we can get back here again. All right, 13 players, $46.5 million to go. Uh... Tien definitely wants to re-sign. Kirk wants to test. Hershon's Jr. got to re-sign him as well. Um, I mean, I'm going to throw at Tien an offer. I mean, this should work. Yep. Probably didn't need to even do that. We would have accepted the old one. I'll try to get the rest of these guys back at the team as best as I can. And uh, I don't know if anybody here has an option. Yep, Harrison does. So we're going to accept his option. Looking good there. Everybody else, though, try to re-sign them at $38 million. Let's see what we can do. All right, so I got back most of the guys I wanted. I think I'm going to let Wingard test. I mean, we'll have $7.7 .7 I'm going to try to find a new strong safety, I guess. Uh, so not too much money to play around with, but we're going to just head on to free agency with the money we do have, try to see if we can make a couple of marginal improvements to this team. But I did re-sign a lot of the guys wanted to re-sign. So uh, free agency, I don't know how good it's going to be. If we need to restructure some contracts, we can always do that. It doesn't even look that good. So, um, yeah, let's uh, see what we can do with free agency, try to add a couple pe people to this team. All right, overall, I mean, free agency, we did a... You know, some marginal signings. Uh, Vaughn Bell, new strong safety, which is pretty cool. Fits the team our team. We've got Rigoberto Sanchez to be our punter. And then uh, Cody Whitehair, who I thought I had signed for a longer contract. Guess not. But you know, we're going to keep him as our left guard. Uh, also fits our scheme of the team. Uh, we have a couple of, uh, I guess, draft picks, but it's, it's not a lot. So we're just going to simulate past the draft. I'll show you guys maybe the draft recap. Briefly, and then we'll hop on into the fourth season. All right, so let's look at the recap here. A few of the contracts. And, uh, I mean, it's really not much here. We got a linebacker, a couple linebackers, a running back, and another center. So that's about it. We're going to hop on into the fourth season and look at the roster. And hopefully this year, get back to the Super Bowl and win it. Here it is, fourth season. Let's look at the Jaguars, see what we got. So Lawrence up to a 92. We've got Etienne Jr., Back on the team, Bigsby as well, halfback, backing him up. We got Kirk, Ridley, and Jones. Uh, tight end still going to be Evan Ingram. Cam Robinson, left tackle still with Harrison. Cody Whitehair, left guard. Center's going to be Joe Tittman. Uh, Sheriff's going to be our right guard. Harris Johnson Jr., who had an option. Um, he's going to be our right tackle. Miranda, left end. Right end's going to be still Greg Jarrett. Uh, Devon Hamilton, defensive tackle. Josh Allen's going to be our left outside linebacker. Middle linebacker's going to be uh, Boyce out of Lulucon and Lloyd. And then uh, right outside linebacker's going to be Trayvon Walker. Tyson Campbell, corner, with Buckhalter and Valentine as the other corners. And then free safety, Cisco, strong safety, Vaughn, Bell, kicking. We don't have a kicker. And then punter is uh, Sanchez. So we're just going to get a kicker, and we should be good. So let's do that, get a kicker, go to the improved team. I mean, on paper, our team is pretty solid, so we'll see what ends up happening. 
Kicking wise, uh, we can get like Dicker possibly. I guess we'll just go with Cameron Dicker. Should be able to sign him, and we can. Oh, a little bit of room to make a, mo a move maybe at the uh, mid-season point if we want, uh, which we could do. I think I, I might just keep the team as is for now. Uh, if we look at the trade center in terms of cap room, we have three and a half, three point six five million to make a move. I mean, we can try to get another wide receiver, like just another weapon. I mean, Zay Jones isn't bad, but I mean, I could move him and then some picks and uh, get an even better wide receiver. I think that's not a horrible option. So I'm going to look around and see if that uh, option can come true. All right, Bears, DJ Moore, a second of their round pick. We got back, uh, we traded with three first round picks at Jones, as well as a fifth rounder. DJ Moore from the Bears, big wide receiver acquisition, uh, second of their round pick as well, plus he fits the scheme our team. I like that move. I think it's going to bolster up our offense even more. Just another weapon to have. Uh, so I like the team. I think we're just going to keep the team as is going forward for the rest of the season. We'll see how we do, and I'll see you guys at the midseason point. At the midseason, 4-3. and three, uh, We got Harrison. Let's review some offers here for him. Um, I mean, we can get, like, Cameron Dantzler Sr. 6 and a 7. Monty Leatherwood. Nah, I'm not going to do any of that. But 4-3 and three is not too bad. 4-3. Uh, in the AFC South. We're at our top. So that's cool. Trevor Lawrence. Pretty solid season so far. 1526 yards. 12 TDs. 1 interception. 74% completion percentage. And 122.5 pass rating is really good. 557 and 6 from Etienne on the rush. 105 then from Lawrence. Um, which is cool to see. Receiving wise. DJ Moore. Leading receiver. 423 and 2 TDs. Christian Kirk. 327 and 4. 303 and 1 from Ridley, 229 and 2 from Evan Ingram. In terms of blocking, it's been good this season. Uh, Loy leading team tackles with 56, 40 from Oluokun. Tyson Campbell, 35 tackles, 33 from Buckhalter, 32 from Allen and Bolden. Walker's got 25, same thing with Vaughn Bell, 23 from Hamilton, 18 apiece between Cisco and Garrett. Or Jarrett. I keep saying Garrett for some reason. Sack wise, Allen, he's got four to lead the team, two from Jarrett. One and a half from Hamilton, and these guys have one half sack there from Bonnie Boy. Uh, we have six interceptions a team. Von Bell and Buck Halter leading the way. Then we got Josh Allen and Dev Lloyd for one. Dicker, the kicker. They got punting, kick return, and punt return. Overall, not too bad. 17th offensive yards. Again, kind of around the middle. Close to it, at least. Which isn't too crazy. Uh, yeah, passing has been good. So that's like, okay. Actually, that's a lie. It's not that great. <laughs> Thought it'd be better. Same thing with Rush. I mean, I guess we're not getting too many yardages. Not getting too far up and down. But when we do get up the football field, we do capitalize. Because we're scoring 24.6 points per game. Defensively, we've been... Eh, on the yardage, not too great. But we're allowing 123 points, which is pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, 807 rush yards. It's closer to the... You know, bottom, and then 1396 on the pass. That's definitely better. All right. I mean, we're 4-3 and three right now. Is there a move, theoretically, that we can make that make our team better? Of course there is, but can we do said move? We have 1.82 million. I mean, maybe. We could look around there. Uh, what are we looking like at corners? Because it's saying we need corners. I guess we could use a third corner. Uh, let's see if we try to get an extra cornerback. Uh, strong safety, I believe, is just... Yeah, Vaughn Bell. He just a little got up there in age. Um, all right. Yeah, I'm going to see if we can get another cornerback for our team. Fortner, second, third round pick. We got back Forbes Jr. from the Commanders. So an extra cornerback to help us out there. I like that move there. We'll bolster up the defense a little bit more. Uh, I, I think we're good on uh, moves for the rest of this season. So we'll simulate to the end of the year. Hopefully we're in the playoffs once again all right so we had a bit of a down season this year seven and ten um not too great not too great uh campbell broke his ankle that doesn't help us out uh but yeah we had a bit of a down season this year unfortunately okay i mean we still have one more season obviously losing campbell doesn't help um uh, also trevor lawrence missed six games so that also you know doesn't really help either i mean Coming stepped in, he was okay, but yeah, kind of stinks that we missed out on Lawrence for a bit. Rush wise, Etienne, he was over 1,300 yards, nine TDs, so that's pretty good to see. 
Uh, Kirk, over 1,000 receiving yards, 12 TDs. He missed a game. Moore missed two games. Ridley missed a game. So a couple guys in and out of the lineup. So, yeah, partial, part of it's injuries, I guess, which is fine. But, we, you know, next season that can't happen because only one more year left. Um, you see the stacks now, or the tackles, rather, for the defensive side of the ball. Devin Lloyd, 118, 81 from Buckhalter. Bell with 78, 75 from Forbes Jr., 71 apiece from the Allen and uh, Bolden. Led our team in sacks. Allen, 10.5, 7.5 from Jarrett, 5 from Hamilton, 2.5 from Walker. These guys have one, half sack from Von Bell. Interception was Von Bell, 5 4 from Buckhalter, 3 from Lloyd, and 1 from Allen. Kicking, Dicker, 12 14, 46 47 on the extra points. Then you got your punting. Kick return and punt return. So, yeah, our offense definitely took a dip. Again, because of the injuries, didn't really help Trevor Lawrence missing a lot of games. Not going to be useful for us. And our passing, of course, you know, a bit lower than usual. Our rush was uh, was actually pretty high. 22.8 points per game. You could say that's near the top half of the league, and it is. Defensively, I also think we took a bit of a hit, too. And not too great. 358 on the points allowed. I mean, that's pretty solid. But, yeah, teams were getting up and down the football field against us. 19-12 on the rush. And passing wise, I mean, it's actually okay. Could be worse. But overall, I do think that um, with our team as is, if we're healthy, we do have a chance to compete. So we just got to make sure we're healthy, get Campbell back, all these bad boys back. Don't know how much money we're going to have in free agency, uh, but we're definitely going to do some contract restructuring. So I do want to add some more talent to this team to get back to the playoffs and hopefully not miss out in our fifth and final season. So let's advance to the Super Bowl recap, see who ends up winning, and then go on to the offseason. So let's view the season recap here. Uh, the Steelers win the Super Bowl. Huh, interesting. Kenny Pickett's Super Bowl MVP. You don't usually see that. Mahomes, Staley, uh, Robinson for the Falcons, Raiders, Max Crosby. They've got Panthers, Daniel Franklin, Texans, Grant Jennings, respectively. Fifth and final season is about to commence. Let's see how we can fare. Yeah, let's see how I can fare, I guess. I mean, I don't even know what I was going to say. Yeah, I think it's the fifth and final season. Am I, am I wrong? Yeah, fifth and final season. Yeah, this one we started off with. Yeah, so fifth and final season. Let's see how I fare. 14 players for negotiation. Now, we don't have a lot of cap room, so we're going to have to do some restructuring. Although, Rand has got a fifth year, so we're going to accept that. That's pretty obvious. Uh, I mean, there's not too many... Too many important players here that we need to keep, but a couple guys want to keep. Definitely want to keep Trayvon Walker for sure. Trayvon Walker, we gotta keep him. So let's um, let's do some contract restructuring to free up some money, and then if there's anything good in terms of uh, salary uh, and free agency, we're gonna you know work on that. Obviously, Trevor Lawrence making a ton of money now, so we're gonna free up a lot of money here from that. So let's do all those uh, free, uh, restructurings and try to make this team better for up in the final season. All right, so a few guys want to test here. Um, I'm going to have to try to get them back then in free agency. $22 million of money. Not a lot, um, even after sh contract restructuring. So we might end up losing a couple guys here, which could be tough for us. Uh, we'll need to maybe make a couple trades then if I can't get back some of these guys in free agency. So hopefully the free agency class isn't too crazy. We could just get them back with our money and go on from there. All right, guys, so a couple guys lost, but we did have to, you know, find some replacements. Not a big deal. I think we had an okay free agency, though. We got Matt Gay, new kicker. We got Miles Sanders, new running back. At least backup. We got El Share, midline backer, right outside of the Bradley Chubb. So we lost Walker, which is fine. Will Fry's another right guard, and then Moody to be a left guard. So it bolster up those lines there. Um, I mean, the draft, it's not going to be relevant. We traded all by all of our picks. So we're just going to sim past that, go to the fifth and final season. I mean, if there's any small moves we can make. Throughout the year, I will, but chances are this is just going to be the team. So hopefully we can uh, succeed and get back to the playoffs for the fifth and final season. See you guys once I'm there. All right, fifth and final season. Let's look at the roster that we have here. So Lawrence could be our QB, obviously. We got Etienne Jr. running back with Sanders. Uh, wide receivers, we got Kirk, Moore, and Ridley still. Uh, tight end, Evan Ingram. Cam Robinson left tackle with Harrison. Uh, moves to my left guard, Tipman center, right guard, Scherf, Fries, um, Johnson Jr., right tackle, left end Miranda, Grady Jarrett, 
right end, Devon Hamilton, defensive tackle, left outside linebacker would be Josh Allen, Z Josh Air, mid linebacker with Lulukun. Right outside linebacker, Bradley Chubb, Tyson Campbell Corners with Forbes Jr. and Buck Halter. Then we've got free safety, Andre Sisko, strong safety, Vaughn Bell still, Matt Gay kicking, punting is Roberto Sanchez. And we got uh, a couple of picks here, here and there if we need to make a move at the midseason point. But I think for now, we keep the team as is. Uh, if we look at the trade center, uh, we have a 2.95 million. So we actually could make a small move, and I think I might. I actually think I, I said I wasn't going to make a move, but you know what? We are going to make a move. Uh, we're going to right end. Uh, I'm trying to see what positions we would need. Uh, right tackle's fine. Maybe a better right guard. Maybe a better left guard. Uh, I feel like we're good on left tackle. I mean, me personally. Uh, we could get another tight end. You know, Ingram's getting up there in age. So let, let, let's see. Let's see if there's any, any move we could potentially make to make this team better. I'm all for it. So... I'm going to look around, and uh, if I can find something good, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, maybe we'll just wait till the midseason to do a trade. Jonathan Williams for Robinson, uh, two-thirds and a second-round pick. So the Broncos were taking away Dolchich and Williams. So just to add up additional weapons to this team before I fit the final season, I'm going to take a look at the scheme, just double-check to make sure that, that looks right. And then we're going to go on to the simulating fit the final season here. And hopefully we're good enough to get back into the playoffs this season. I mean, we're going to find us to simulate. So, um, yeah, I guess we're going to do that. I guess West Coast Zone Run will keep probably our best one. I mean, it's not too great. Uh, so, we'll just keep that. And then defensively, we can run. Let's run a, let's run a Disguise 3-4. And I think that's good. So, I'll see you guys at the midseason point. We'll see how the team's doing and go on from there. All right, so we're sitting at 5-2 and two right now in our fifth and final season. But let's take a look at the roster. Uh, actually, not the roster. Let's look at the stats first. That's what I want to look at. So how are we doing on statistics? You guys saw the rankings. Look pretty good, especially defensively. We look solid. Uh, if we take a look at the stats here, see how the team is cooking. I mean, Trevor Lawrence has been pretty solid so far. 10 TDs, 1 interception, 68% completion percentage, 111.1 passer rating with 1,479 passing yards. In terms of rushing, 531 and 6 from Etienne. It's just one game so far, but he's been good over the last... Ridley, 41 and 7 to lead the way. DJ Moore's got 315 and 2. 288 from Kirk, 285 from Dolchich, who is uh, doing his thing out there. Okay. Blocking wise, all right. Not too bad. Pretty good. Defensively, Lukun leading team attackers with 51 34 from Buckhalter, 33 from Campbell, 32 apiece between Allen and Forbes Jr., as well as Alistair Air, 27 from Vaughn Bell and Chubb, 26 from Cisco. And then uh, sacks wise, Allen and Jarrett, four piece, three from Chubb, two from Williams, one and a half from Al Share, one from Olokan and Miranda, and a half sack from Vonnie Boy. We have six interceptions as a team, Campbell leading the way, kicking, Matt Gay's been perfect, Yotra punting, kick return, and punt return. So we're number eighth in offense, if yards gained, which is pretty good. Passing is probably closer to the bottom of the league, eh, bottom half. But we're running pretty solid, 894, third best. We're scoring 23.4 points, I believe it said, so it's pretty solid. And defensively, we're doing pretty good, too. Uh, 120 points allowed, that's closer to the bottom of the league. And then um, 643 rush, pretty solid on that front. And our pass yards allowed, 1410, also good. So is there any moves we can make? I do not know. We all have to double check. It'd have to be a small move, but I, I'm more than willing to add more talent to this team for the rest of the way. Uh, if I look at the improved team functionality, uh, you know our weakest positions are some of our lines. We can try to get a better outside linebacker with a first round pick. I mean, try to get a young guy, but uh, that would be about it. So I'm gonna look around, see if there's any moves we can make in terms of the trade center, how much cap room we got. 2.06. It'd have to be a small move. All right, did this deal with the Ra uh, Ravens. We traded away Washington. First, second, third, pick in 2030. We got back Thurston, Beckham, and Connor. Uh, just some additional players, young guys on the team. A couple guys fit the scheme. Hopefully, that'll bolster up our team a little bit more for the rest of the way. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, we're in the playoffs. Season 14-3. We are taking on the Ravens here. That trade we made with them. 
at the midseason point. Our defense ended up number one in terms of defensive rank on yards. So we had a really good season, but unfortunately didn't get the bye. I assume Kansas City got the bye. Actually, it was the Bengals, not the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. The Bengals probably went, what, 15 and 2? But we had a good season. I mean, hopefully, we don't lose in the first round. I don't want to lose in the wild card in our fifth and final season. Definitely don't want to do that. Lawrence is pretty solid. Uh, 3,047 yards. Didn't throw too much. 2017, 6 interceptions, 6.5% completion percentage, 108, 108 passer rating. Etienne, 268, 20 TDs. Um, Kirk, 929, 70, 29, 9 from Ridley, 758, 4 from Moore. Doldridge, 679, 4 TDs. That's so pretty good to see. Blocking wise, overall, pretty good. Defensively, Alulcon led the team in tackles 112, 89 from Allen, 88 from Shair. 87 from Forbes Jr., 71 from Campbell, uh, Chubb with 70, 69 from Buckhalter, 63 from Bell. See the rest of the way down there. Sack-wise, 22 and a half sacks from Josh Allen. Beautiful. Six and a half from Chubb, five and a half from Jarrett, four from Williams. Overall, sack-wise, excellent, especially from Josh Allen. Lucone, three interceptions, two from a bunch of guys here, and one from Buckhalter. Gay. Almost perfect, so minus one extra point. And you have your punting, kick return, punt return. Overall, 13th offensive yards. I mean, that's good to see. So definitely top half of the league. We were doing our thing out there. Passing-wise, a bit lower than usual, but it's okay. We ran 2,215 yards. That was third best. And we scored 23.4 points per game. That's going to be top half of the league as well. Defensively, number one, least amount of points allowed. Our rush defense, third, and our passing was the best. And we had 46 sacks, which I imagine, like, that's going to be pretty good. Second most. So the number two team, Eagles 12-5 and five because of the NFC. But actually, the Bengals, yeah, they went 15-2. and two. All right. So let's go on to the divisional, see if we can beat the uh, Ravens here. Made that move with them. Here we go. Super Sim, fifth and final season. Trying to beat Baltimore here. Can we do it? We're going to find out. Let's go to the end of the game here. Starting off, we are going to be down 7-0. We're going to tie it up there, 7-7. Seven, seven. They're going to get 14-7 now. Second half, we're going to tie it up. They're going to take the lead. No, they're not. Now they are. No, they're not. Third quarter, we take the lead, 20-14. Looked like they were. Fourth quarter, they're going to get a field goal. We almost turned it over, but it's 28-17. It looks like we're going to win 28-17 to advance to the divisional in our fifth and final season good stuff they're out besting harborough and their ravens uh trevor lawrence 246 four tds not too bad uh as we end up beating the ravens um good stuff there from the guys we'll uh head on to the divisional so we take it on so in the divisional we've got the buffalo bills they were 11 and 6 we were 14 and 3 you can see their rankings uh their defense this season not very good offensively they're really good but We'll see what ends up happening. We're going to head on to the Super Sim and see if we can advance past them and get to back to the conference championship. How are we going to fare against the Bills? We're going to find out. Let's head on to the Super Sim. Here we go. Starting it off here, we're going to go up 7-0 in the first quarter. They're going to get a field goal. We are going to make it 14-3. They're going to get a touchdown 14-10. We go up 21-10. Second half, and Bills are going to score and make it 21-18. They're going to get a field goal now. Tie it up. We get a field goal 21-24. We're up. We do score a touchdown last minute of the fourth quarter to go up 31-21 and seal the deal by 10 points to advance to our second conference championship of the video, 31-21. And uh, we're looking prime time right now. 216, two TDs from Lawrence, besting Josh Allen and his team. Looks like we do not have uh, Etienne because it looks like Miles Sanders is our guy right now. So yeah, I think Etienne's hurt. Uh, but we're doing it without. I mean, conference championship got to be our at our best. So let's see if we can keep it up. All right, the matchup that we've been waiting for: the Bengals versus the Jaguars. So let's see here. Let's take a look at the injury reports. Curious to see how long Etienne's out for. He's got a dislocated ankle, so he's gone for the season, uh, which is unfortunate. Definitely unfortunate. So uh, fifteen to fifteen and two. Bengals were they had the number two offense number 14 defense we had the number one defense number 13 offense Paycor Stadium this is to get to the Super Bowl can we beat them let's go to the Super Sim and find out this is to get to the Super Bowl I don't know if we can do it but we're gonna try so we're gonna sim to the end of the game here we're gonna start off here first quarter Bengals are gonna get first blood 7-0 we're gonna tie it up those 7-7 second quarter 
Uh, going to the second half, 14-7 now. We are up, and we're going to go up 17-7. Third quarter, fourth quarter now. We score again 20-7, to and we are going to end up winning against the Bengals. Was it 26-7? To go to the Super Bowl, I don't know. Regardless, we're back in the Super Bowl, though. It's all that really matters. And it's, yep, it's 26-7. Our defense did the job. Trevor Lawrence getting the Jaguars to another Super Bowl in this video. And he had a great season. Uh, not great season. Well, he did have a great season. But he had a great game today. Uh, we're doing this all without uh, Travis Etienne because he's hurt. So, uh, yeah, defense really stepped it up after the first quarter. Didn't allow any more points. So great stuff from them and Trevor Lawrence taking us home. Who are we taking on in the Super Bowl? Let's find out. Get on the Panthers. They went 9-8 and on the season. And they're here. 27th offense, 4th defense. Let's see how we can fare against them. You guys know the rules. We've already explained it if you don't or wasn't paying attention. Quarter by quarter in the Super Bowl. If it's close, we hop on in. Or if we're about to blow them out and win. So let's head on into the... Super Sim. Know where we're playing? Uh, Raymond James Stadium. Okay, that's where we're playing. So let's uh, hop on in. Quarter by quarter here. Carolina versus Jacksonville. Carolina's going to get a field goal there, 3 0, and go up in the first quarter. Second quarter, we still have the ball though. So we're going to sim to the next quarter. We're going to score here. We do get a field goal tied up, and we're going to take the lead going into the second half, 10 to 3. Third quarter, about to commence here in the Super Bowl. And we are going to go up 13 to 3. Fourth quarter. And we have the ball. So this is perfect. Next quarter here. And we are going to score. It's 20 to 3. And we're going to score again. 23 to 3. And we are about to win a Super Bowl right here. Uh in our fifth and final season, Carolina. I mean, you you you're doing your best here, but uh it's not looking too hot right now, so. 10-yard penalty. They go back. Get a sack there from Chubb. Third and 23. Another sack. Oh, that wasn't another sack. Sorry. Fourth and 12. And they got to go for it. Incomplete pass. And we are going to hop on in to slow. And that is... Oh, that was it. Okay. I guess I was going to hop on in. But yeah, we basically just took a knee. I guess they didn't have any timeouts. As the Jaguars win the Super Bowl, ladies and gentlemen, in our fifth and final season. Could have had two this video, but unfortunately, only one. But I'll take it. Exciting stuff as the confetti falls down. The Super Bowl confetti, which I didn't even realize that was, you know, it took me forever to realize that that was actually you know, supposed to be shaped the Super Bowls and hoisting up uh, the boys. I wonder who the Super Bowl MVP is going to be. There is the trophy. Probably be Trevor Lawrence, I would assume, but maybe not. We'll see. Oh, there's that neck. Uh, you hate that neck. Hate the neck. Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, probably gonna win it. I mean, great stuff. Glad we had him. He's smiling at the trophy. He's got his wonderful hair. From one fellow Trevor to another, congratulations. For those that don't know, that's what the T stands for in TJP, but you should know that by now. If you've been watching my content long enough. And yeah, Trevor Lawrence, probably gonna win the Super Bowl for sure. Super Bowl MVP. We have great defense, by the way. Gotta say, our defense really stepped it up. So let's head on to the uh, Super Bowl recap and look at the awards and go on from there. All right, so Trevor Lawrence, Super Bowl MVP. And we had Joe Burrow, Zach Taylor, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, our own Josh Allen, Defensive Player of the Year. That is thumbnail worthy, my friend, Josh Allen. And hopefully I remember that. Uh, Jack Cook on the Commanders, winning Offensive Rookie of the Year. And then Defensive Rookie goes to Dylan Adams on the Seahawks. All right, I guess that all being said, uh, let's go to the full screen, close out the video. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, pretty successful. I mean, the Jaguars, we got to the Super Bowl twice. Would have been nice to win two, but we didn't get, you know, unfortunately didn't happen. But I'll take a, I'll take a Super Bowl. I'm sure you guys take one. So shout out to Jax for getting the job done. Leave a like, subscribe, if you're going to content. Comment on this video, go to socials, play the second channel, main channel, download the description. If you click the content with DJP. Uh, so yeah, our next uh, team will be an NFC team. Not sure who's going to be. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um... But whoever it is, you'll see. So with that being said, I'm going to head on out for now. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.